Hi hey guys and welcome back. My name is Chris and this is uh, Rage Shadow Legends walkthrough slash playthrough, whatever you like. Um, <clears throat> okay, so now we're up to the part where we have, we've been defeated, we've gone as far as we could, we got stopped in the campaign. Um, so what do we do now? That's the question that we're going to answer in this video. Um, so there's a few things that we could do, um, to be honest, because we're still... Uh, such a low level. We've still got all this energy. Hopefully we should have popped our XP banner to give us double uh, XP per run. Um, the best thing that we could do is just head back to the previous mission and replay this. Um, <clears throat> it's probably the most uh, efficient way at this stage to do it because we're going to be getting... XP. We're going to be leveling up our champions, which is going to increase their stats and make them stronger to overcome the next few levels. Um, hopefully, if we can do this one. Um, but again, there are also a few options uh, that we can take as well to help improve our champions uh, a bit more kind of power them up for future future stoppages um so yeah so you can see we're getting experience from these two champions leveled up that's making them a little bit stronger um so at this point we can reevaluate our our gear that we've got equipped uh see how much silver we have if we can upgrade these to improve our champions um so i don't think we put anything on this champion so we can just go ahead and put uh, some basic pieces on um yeah just put the basic ones take them up to four but these are all one stars some three stars there actually yeah but these are gear pieces that won't have substats on but they might have some good uh base stats on them like such as this one for for example it's on the boots it's two star and it's got attack percentage on the boots um it's not ideal but it's going to increase our damage with this champion uh, by 2% that increases that by 4 that's an improvement and once we equip this let's just go ahead and equip this one just sort of should have checked out this one first these have speed on which will be uh, I don't see us getting enough speed to be able to help us out that much so we're going to stick with these attack percentage boots also this is a HP set so at early stages you kind of want to be pairing these up with another HP piece uh, that one's got attack percentage and that's our only option. So we're going to equip this. This is going to give us a, a nice boost to our HP. Um, as well as, that one's already on 4. As well as a 2% attack bonus to our attack, which is brilliant. Then we can upgrade these. Take them up to level 4. And that is, you know, it's a slight improvement on the character. It's going to help with the uh, attack output of that champion. Which is going to boost our team to go that little bit further. Um, okay, so we could go a little bit further and get some oh, crit rate, uh, crit rate accuracy, and we've also got attack. Uh, so this is a, a, f a flat base attack. Um, to be honest, it's going to be an improvement at this level. If it was, uh, yeah, slightly higher, if we had uh, four star, five star champions, this is. It's going to be worth going for attack percentage rather than base attack, but because we're such a low level, this is just going to add this value onto our attack stat. And we don't have that much option at the minute. So we're going to go for these, and we're going to go for a crit, crit rate percentage. And again, take these up to 4 star, uh, to level 4. And that's going to give us a slight boost with that champion in her attack. So, as well as attack output, you also need to consider survivability. So we've added that with our HP sets. Um, now, is there any other champions that we can boost? I do not believe this guy doesn't have anything on at the minute. Maybe putting something on there might be beneficial. But to be honest, I don't really want to waste my silver on this guy. We do have some crit rate sets. 
new to our uh, roster of gear. Um, so that could be another benefit. Two sets, two two set pieces increases crit rate by twelve percent. Um, and this could boost them up as well to um, take on some of that extra damage. Um, so we do have these pieces here, but I don't really want to be uh, wasting them straight away on this champion because we could use these later on for a different champion. And like I said, the higher the stars in removing these is going to cost you a lot more silver. Um, and it's going to be really hard to keep getting silver. We're, we're going to need all the silver we can get, basically, at this stage. Um, and they're not great set pieces, to be fair. Um, but they could be useful when we're trying to get a four-piece lifesteal set a bit later on. Um, so the main focus you want to be placing are, is your uh, ch farming champion, which in our case is going to be Kale for this. Um, and we're just going to look at the uh, pieces that have, have the best stats on them. So all of these are pretty good. Uh, so we can, because we've got a bit of silver up here, we can take these up to level 8. Get an extra substat increase. And base power. Which is going to be great at improving our champion. Get that extra damage out there. So let's get these other pieces up. So this, like I said, once we go past level 4, get into level 8, you're going to have slightly more chances of resisting that upgrade. Um, the upgrade chances kind of like in a certain high, medium, low, and minimum. Um, but we've got an extra speed boost on this, so that's nice. And then let's get our crit rate one up. Okay, as you can see as well, as we're going up levels, this silver uh, rate is increasing, so that's up to 4,650 now. Um, and each time we fail that, it still costs that amount. So it's taken our silver down uh, quite quickly. When it was 150,000, now we're down to 90,000 silver. Uh, so it is uh, costly to upgrade these things. Um, this is going to be a base attack, so we're going to want to increase this to get that extra damage output. But you can see at this level as well, we're getting more success chances than fails. As we climb up, it's going to change dramatically. Especially in the later levels. So that was nice. That helped us out with silver. Okay, so let's keep this going. Let's see if we can get all of these pieces upgraded until um, to level 8. So much speed on these as well. Okay, so with these artifact pieces, because I put them on my main character, um, so I will be switching to lifesteal gear once I unlock a full set of lifesteal. Um, but these pieces, because they're upgraded and they're good pieces, they're still going to be useful on other champions, so I'm just going to be able to switch them out onto another champion. Um, you know, pieces for this champion aren't going to be as useful, so I'm probably not going to use these for other champions. Maybe these two epics there. Um, so yeah, so we've done some upgrades on this champion. We get some speed. Might as well get some speed on this champion. Actually, we're running pretty low on silver, and we kind of want to do some more things as well. Um, but for this point in the game, it's okay to just carry on. And let's, let's check out our dungeon. So we did fail previously on uh, stage 5. So let's see how we do well with these small little upgrades uh, to our champions. So 
So we're still having some issues. We have specifically concentrated on one champion. <clears throat> ah, and we're down. So we're going to need to make some more improvements. Okay, so we didn't make it that, that time. Um, okay, so again, we've still got two options. We've still got a few options here. Um, so as well as improving your champions, you can increase them even further. As we've leveled up, we've unlocked certain features in this bastion. Um, so if we have a look on here, we've kind of unlocked these different areas. We've got the campaign, which we're focusing on now to get to the end. We've got dungeons, which open up little uh, other little dungeons. These are locked. Uh, and these other ones here. Um, so when you do start playing the game, starting off from level 1, um, <clears throat> you get these other dun uh, dungeons here. So these are potion dungeons to level up your ascension for a champion, which basically just gives them like a little extra boost to the character and allows them to uh, equip um, accessories to your champion once they're higher levels. Uh, but also increases uh, stats as well, slightly. Um, so you always need to couple up your affinity potions with your main arcane potions to get that ascension. Um, <clears throat> so what I would suggest to improve your character as well is you can go through these dungeons uh, to get these potions um, <clears throat> to use them to ascend your champion. Give them that little extra boost as well. Um, which helps them up quite a, quite a bit. Um, when you when you first create your account, all of these dungeons, and you unlock the dungeon map, all of these dungeons are open for, I think it's uh, uh, seven days. Uh, so you will be able to just like go into whichever ever one of these you want to choose. Because we created our account like, uh, like two weeks ago and haven't played it since, they've all locked since then. And then it goes into a cycle. So Sunday we have the Void Keep open. And then from... Uh, Monday to Saturday it gets rotated for these three uh, other other dungeons so you can see the force one opens on Tuesday the magic keep opens on Wednesday and the spirit keep opens on Monday uh, so we can't really do that now we could kind of prepare for that by getting arcane keep potions so we'll just uh, give you a little view of what this is about again we want our leader skill in there someone with an aura I'll boost our champions. Let's stick all the champions that we have in there. Because there's no reason not to. Um, and then go through the little dungeon. So this is... You can pick five members of your team to do this. Okay, we're going to stick on all two again. Because it's going to be a little bit quicker. So there's, um, so there's three rounds again. The first round is uh, five enemy... Uh, enemy trash packs. And the second one is another trash pack with five enemies. And the third one contains the boss and two minions. Um, the boss has unique skills that come up here. You can click on these to see what they do. And then you kind of just assemble a team which is best suited to the boss to kind of take him down in the quickest time. Uh, that is the aim, anyway, so you can get to the highest level, you can uh, get a team together which could do it most efficiently, and you can keep farming that dungeon to gain resources. So we got some silver, we got our potion, and we got our arena points. This work as well. Our tournament points, sorry. So if you just click on that, it will tell you how many your current amount is. I didn't know that. Um, so once you clear a stage, again, you unlock unlock the next stage, which is slightly harder. You can see the, ch the boss is going up in levels. So we get to 165. These only go up to stage 15. Um, yeah, so that's another way to improve your champion. Obviously, I can't show you now because I don't have the other this pieces. The the main place where you can... Um, but to do that, you'd go into the tavern. You'll have a 
for your active champions in this list here. You have to select a champion. Um, and there's options at the side what you want to do with it. You can level up your champion by using uh, some brews, which give you 12,500 XP per brew. Or you can use other champions to increase that champion's level. Those are the two star champions, give you going to give you 3,520 XP. If you have a champion with the same affinity, same with potions, it's going to give you slightly more XP. Um, you can upgrade the rank once they're max when level. The Which is hit the max level for this will be 30. You can use um, three more three star champions to turn that into a four star champion. Which reset, or kind of, it doesn't reset, it like sets your uh, stats back to the lowest version of that four star level, and then you build them up again, and you're going to have a greater value when they're level 40 of the four star champion. Uh, you can also upgrade skills here. Um, so, this is where your skill tomes come in. Uh, we have three rare skill tomes at the minute, and there are three skills on this champion. So each time you use a book, it will ran randomly level up one of these skills to the next area, and these will be highlighted when they're active. And that kind of increases your champion's capabilities and boosts them to a uh, yeah, to a more powerful rank. There are some champions of the game where actually upgrading their skills is going to harm their ability. It's going to decrease their performance slightly. That's only on a few rare exceptions, um, such as where you want them to be really powerful with their if they've got a really powerful a1 ability then you want them to use that more uh, as often as possible yeah and their other skills kind of take away from that and you reduce the cooldown they're going to be using the a1 a lot less uh, so that's an instance where that'll be uh, unhelpful to skill that champion up um but then we get to ascension um so like I said with this one, to boost our champions a bit further, to get them extra stats, increase basic stats here, uh, you get ascension stars. So the Chaos are three stars already, uh, so we can ascend up to three purple stars. And that's by getting our potions from the dungeons. Um, so we've been trying to work on that. Obviously we can't complete them now because we don't have them unlocked. But that's another way to increase your champion's capabilities. And the other way is... Dungeons. Uh, dungeons again, and this is Minotaur's Labyrinth. Uh, so with this, we get scrolls. Let's just do a little uh, preview for this. So same again, three rounds. Uh, first three rounds of trash packs. We take these guys down, and then we get the boss and his two minions on the third round. Again, this boss has got his own unique skills, which are at the top, so you can see what skills he does. You kind of uh, create a team to kind of uh, best suited for this dungeon. Okay, so we got that, and also out of all our team, one person gets three scrolls, three white, three white scrolls, um, and these are different levels. Uh, you get white scrolls, green scrolls, and red scrolls. Um, and these are going to be scrolls for your masteries. We've put up our champions here. We go into Kale and we click on the masteries tab on the right side. Um, so this is your mastery tree. So at the minute there's only uh, three levels available. Let's just take a look in here. Uh, so there's an offensive tree, a defensive tree and a support tree. Um, our attack champions, we're going to want to go for attack. Um, down the offensive tree. This is not always a case. There are some situations where you may want to go for defense and support, or just you know mix it up a bit with uh, offense, defense, offense, support. Uh, but mainly, if it's an attack champion, you mainly want to be going to be going down the offensive tree for more attack damage. Uh, so you got two options at the start. Uh, you got blade disciple, which increases your attack by plus seventy five. Um. Which is good stuff if it's a big boost to attack, but generally you're never going to want to be going for that. You want to be going for this one, which is increases crit rate by 5%, which 
which is a much bigger increase <laughs> to your damage. Sorry, my little one's blowing whistles downstairs calling me. Um, and then in the second tree, you get what we're going for this, which is crit damage plus 10%. Uh, so these only take a few scrolls. Your first row is going to take five white scrolls, which we've got three already from the first one. So it's not going to take long to get five scrolls for that. Um, and you can unlock two trees at a time. So with Kale, we're probably going to go for it. offense and then support for the accuracy increase uh, on this skill. Um, so this is the other way to boost your champion at the start. If you concentrate on trying to get through the first two rows of your masteries, you can get a nice 5% crit, 10% crit damage, and a bit, ac bit of accuracy are needed, or a bit of, uh, bit of defense or resistance from this tree. Or depending on what champion you're trying to improve upon. Um, so I'll be able to show you in this, vi this video, because I'm going to cut this video short here. Or not here, in a bit. I'm just going to show you, well, th those are just the options to improve your champions. And of course, we still have a lot of building to go with our champions. So again, because we're not going past this stage 5, we just take it back a bit. Go to our stage 6, uh, stage 4. And just level up some more until we're powerful enough to get over the second, uh, the next level. And this is going to be the case for, for a lot of these campaign missions. If you can't defeat that stage, you want to go back to the next stage that you can defeat comfortably. And another option is to go back to a stage where you can farm a piece of gear that you really want for your champion. Because with campaigns, you can farm specific item pieces for your champion. It makes it a little bit easier to focus farm uh, the required gear pieces needed. They're not going to be as powerful, but you can uh, you know, get the right ones for your champion. Uh, so we're just going to quickly run through a few of these. Hopefully improve our champions a bit and we will be able to take out that level 5 dungeon and of course while we're doing this we're getting experience to level up our champions but we're also getting silver to help us uh, get our upgrades for our artifacts so that way we can always keep improving um yeah and so uh, as we're starting off we've clicked our xp banner we've got our double xp uh, this is where it really becomes beneficial because rather than doing the dungeons where you're doing it much xp XP, we can focus on campaign and getting those levels up, which is going to give us a big stat increase, more survivability, and allow us to progress in this campaign mission. So that's why I kind of suggested that first, kind of leveling up your champions to their max, um, and taking advantage of that XP bonus. And we unlocked the sparring pit. Um, okay, so we're going to replay this for a few more times. Just because we weren't really able to get any benefits from, our, from the dungeons at this time. Um, and it all comes down to like, um, as a free to play player, playing it smart. <clears throat> um, so a good thing will be to be, we have this XP banner, work on getting your experience from campaign. And then when you run out of, X of your double XP, uh, move over to the dungeons and get up their ascension and get up their masteries. Um, a few more times. And that, for me, is kind of uh, the best way to kind of manage your resources so you're getting the most out of them at a certain point. Um, and I'll get into that a little bit later in terms of, like, once, once this uh, energy boost from leveling drops off, I'll get into the uh, kind of, like, the efficiency for free-to-play players for using your dailies and the best time to... Uh, you have to complete your weekly for your experience banner. Um, 
do your fur again. So I don't even feel like it'd be strong enough to do it yet. <laughs> stage five i must have automatically clicked on that uh but yeah we're doing stage five so let's see if we can power through and do stage six uh so we've only increased our champions a little bit well that little bit was enough to push them through uh, if we'd done all the other things that was suggested as well such as the uh, ascension and the masteries then we would have been able to um you know progress even more but because we've only done these we're gonna get stopped again a little bit later on down the road Um, but we've just managed to get enough power to kind of do this level. <sighs> and um, affinities for champion matters a lot as well in this game. Um, let's just see if we can do the boss. Uh, so this is your affinity ring as well. So we're bringing two magic champions, one spirit and one force. This boss is uh, magic affinity, so if you've got any force champions, they're going to be doing more damage against the boss, uh, a higher crit rate chance. The magic champions, that's going to be, uh, there's no benefit or no plus or minus effects on there. And for anyone that's uh, the opposite, so the one that's you know, magic stronger than spirit, so they have a chance of getting like weaker hits and a minus crit rate chance as well i think uh, i'll have to go and look at that and <laughs> kind of relate that to you guys in another video um but let's just go and see if we could take this this boss down Okay, one thing we did do as well is use our skill books. Skill books are a great way to improve a champion with their damage or cooldowns for certain skills. Um, so we should have used those as well. Probably use those of Kale, or we could have tried to use some on War Maiden to get some extra cooldowns on those heals. Uh, so that's uh, always a good way to improve your champions as well. We got this boss down, no problem. The, the, the company known, so our... And we got some new uh, new set pieces there. We were able to pass this. Um, okay, so we're going to stop this video here. We're ready to take on this next uh, next area. Um, but yeah, so if you get stuck on a boss, those are just uh, uh, on a stage. Those are just a few suggestions on how you can uh, increase the power of your champions to get further. Um, there is also. Yeah, once you've leveled up your champions to max and it's harder to push that progression uh push that stage that's when you want to be looking at um upgrading the rank of your champions <laughs> and with that that's where the the real farming begins that's where we need to farm more three star champions to put into your three star champion that you want to turn into a four star champion and we'll be doing that eventually um <laughs> but in a later video um so yeah, once again, thanks, thank you for watching. If this content helped you in any way, then please hit that like and subscribe button. So don't forget to ring that notification bell. Um, if there's any uh, topics of these videos that you want me to go in, um, if you want me to go into more in depth, then leave a comment and I'll try to get around to posting a video um, about those subjects uh, in more depth. Uh, so thanks again. Hopefully see you guys again in the next video. Take care.